part of my routine for uh, surgery is um, I get one-to-one life-size photographs of the patient. And I use those to really think about the surgery in advance. Again, rhinoplasty is a bit of an obsession. Um, I, I enjoy planning for the surgery because it's a, it's a technical challenge and I'm a surgeon and that's what I like doing. So I will take the pictures, I take um, all the, there's, there's four essential views, right profile, left profile, front on view, and what we call the worm side view, which is with the camera facing up. And I will draw on those paper copies. I don't use a computer program. I use my hand, uh, freehand with a pencil. Um, and I draw on those, the shape. I change the shape of the nose to make it look good. Now, I've studied angles. There's the nasal frontal angle. There's the columnar labial angle. Uh, there's the interalar width. There's numbers galore. There's no end to numbers of the ideal nose. I have that in my back pocket, but ultimately, I draw what looks good aesthetically. What looks good in terms of proportion, what looks good in terms of the patient's ethnicity, proper width, proper length, proper shape, etc. Once I've drawn that on the patient, I then measure what I've changed. How much I've taken the bridge of the nose down to make it look the way it now looks. How much I've narrowed the nose to make it look the way it looks. And in addition to that, in addition to the aesthetic changes, I draw on all of those graphs that I mentioned earlier that are going to achieve that appearance as well. Where it needs a spreader graft. If one spreader graft needs to be wider than the other spreader graft because of an asymmetry in the nose, the nose is going off to one side, I'm going to have to change it in this direction. I'll even put little arrows there. Um, everything I do, I pre-think so that when I get to the operating room, I've got a game plan and I can follow if A, then B, I can follow what I find. If there are any surprises, I've got a game plan for that. And I think that's critical because I think it's that type of operation. So those pictures are essential. I use them in the, uh, the night before surgery. I always look at, at my patient's pictures and sit there and draw on them and, and come up with a plan.